everyone, it's Tim from TimGonyer.com here and over the next few weeks I'm going to make a few videos on framing your artwork. Uh, now I work with AmericanFrame.com. I have my own collection through them and we work together to try to bring you the best products in framing. And what I'm going to talk about for today is how to frame your prints or small drawings in a frame with matting. Uh, so if you go to AmericanFrame.com and place an order, uh, you will get a frame, matting, acrylic, and backer um, so you can easily frame your prints and drawings. And I'm going to show you how I do that. So if you're wondering if you have to go to the frame store to get your artwork framed, you don't have to. You can just go to AmericanFrame.com, enter your artwork size, and they make it a piece of cake for you to frame your own artwork. That way you save a little bit of money and you can be really specific in what you frame your artwork in. But before I demonstrate how I frame out this drawing in this frame, I wanted to mention that if you go to AmericanFrame.com now and enter coupon code TGONYER20, you'll save 20% on your order. So not only will you be saving money because you'll be framing it yourself very easily, uh, you'll be saving 20% by using that coupon code. So we wanna make it as easy as possible for you to frame out your own artwork. So now let's head up to the studio and I'll show you exactly how I frame out my drawings. Okay, so I'm at my workspace here on my drawing table and I've got all of my elements here that I need to frame out my drawing. And uh, when you buy a, a frame from American Frame, you enter your drawing size. You tell them how big your drawing is and they will send you the frame, matting, acrylic, and foam core backing according to that picture size. You can uh, make adjustments if you want a wider uh, matting or anything like that. They will make adjustments based on how big you want your matting. Um, so say you wanted more than just two inches, if you want to do four inch matting, they'll adjust your frame and everything uh, automatically for that size. So really simple, when you order the, the frame, you just enter your, your drawing size or your painting size. Now we're focusing more on paper or print paper drawing or print framing right now. I'm gonna do another video on canvas framing. Um, so when you enter your drawing or print size, you know, all of this stuff will come pre-sized to that drawing. Okay, so I've got my frame here and I've got matting here, foam core backing and uh, some nice acrylic which goes in the front just acting as glass. And the thing is, is with this, it's super protective, uh, it's super clear, and it won't break in the mail. So uh, that acrylic front piece is really, really nice. So when you wanna frame out a drawing like this, it's really, really simple. The first thing that I do is I take my matting and my foam core backing without the picture in there because you want to line up your picture so it shows perfectly through the matting. So what you do is just line these two up, take a pencil, and then just draw in the corner lines right here. Really simple. And then just take the matting off and you've got, you've got your drawing lines right there. Okay, next what I do is I'm just gonna move the frame here off the table just so I have more room. And I'm just gonna zoom in now just so you can see at a little bit of a better angle. Okay, so I've made my marks, these corners here. Um, I'll just darken them up a little bit. Are where my drawing or where the opening of the mat is. Okay, and what I like to do is just take a ruler and line up the opening here and just extend these lines out like that. Okay, then again, come up top here and extend the line. You can even draw a line all the way across like that. Okay, then the same thing down on the sides. Just gonna line up my marks here. 
okay? Just extend those lines out a little bit. And the reason I'm doing this is when I put my drawing on here, all of those corners that I initially drew, so when I take my drawing and line up here, all of those corners would be covered up. And since the matting overlaps the drawing a little bit, what I can do is look at these overlapping lines like this, and I can position that so I know that it's going to fit in the opening because the opening um, is within this drawing, but I can see where those openings are because I drew the lines out further. So I can see here that this will fit in the opening just like that. Um, and just to test it out, you can take the matting and line it up and see um, that it fits perfectly in the opening. Okay, so what I want to do though is secure this to the foam core um, so that way it doesn't move around when I go to frame everything. And what I like to use is blue painter's tape to, um, to fix the drawing onto the foam core board. Now the reason why I use blue painter's tape instead of double stick tape or glue or spray glue or spray adhesive is I really don't want um, any of those chemicals on my drawing uh, on the front or back really. Um, I prefer using the blue painter's tape because it comes off super easy um, and it still does a good job holding up lightweight paper. So you can use spray adhesive, um, you can use double stick tape, whatever you prefer. Me personally, I like to use blue painter's tape. So what I do is just on each corner, and I make sure that the tape is below that those lines that I extended, because remember, if this paint, if this tape was up above those lines, it would show um, through the opening. So I just take four pieces, very lightly. I just do a very small portion of the actual drawing paper attached to the, and you can see here, it's fixed on there really well. And you can just take your matting, line it up, and now you can see there's no, no blue tape showing or anything like that. The drawing is perfectly centered and you're ready to frame. So I'm just going to put this over here to the side. I'm going to bring the frame back up. Okay, I've got the frame here. And I can just take this acrylic and you want to wipe it off really, really well. Uh, you can use um, paper towel or, and some Windex or some glass cleaner just to clean it off really nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take this acrylic piece, slide it in just like that. Then the drawing and matting slide right in very easily, right on top like that. If you flip it over, you can see um, it frames out really, really nicely. So um, it fits in there perfectly. Just like, uh, like I said, American Frame sends everything perfectly cut. So everything pops in there super easy. A uh, piece of cake to frame out a uh, drawing or print. But what you want to do now is secure this into the frame. And then you have this little package here. And you've got the little foam squares that you can put on each corner to protect your wall from the frame. Then you have these little clips here. And these are what secure the, the print into the frame. You can also use a point tool and hammer in the points around the, uh, the matting or the foam core. Um, but that's a little bit more of a permanent fixture. If you want to be able to take this in and out really easily, um, you want to use these little clips. So you got all the screws that go to the clips. And then you have the hangers that you can use 
um, wire with, or you have a sawtooth hanger that you can hammer into the frame up here to hang it on. So really easy. Um, what I'm going to do is show you how to, uh, to fix these clips along the edge to secure the print in the frame. Okay, so there's eight clips. And what I like to do is just put them on. Uh, I don't really measure out just because I'm an artist, I guess. But I just kind of line them up around two on each side. You can measure them and space them perfectly if you want to. If you have a little bit of OCD. Okay, I like to uh, line them up around the edge just like that. And then uh, with my power drill here, You just secure them in place like that. Okay, and then you just go all the way around and that will secure your print into the frame. Okay, so once these are all secured, what I like to do is I like to use a sawtooth hanger for uh, pictures that aren't that heavy. Um, if it's super heavy, I like to use the wire and you can use a wire if your picture's heavy by just measuring from the top here down about, about four or five inches and uh, secure these to the sides and then attach a wire uh, to these and hang it on uh, a picture hanger. But like I said, for these lighter ones, I like to do a sawtooth. Okay, then the last thing you can do if you want is take these little foam squares and stick those onto the corners and that will give you a little bit of space on your wall. Uh, but that's up to you. You don't have to have those on there. Uh, but it, it is kind of nice, especially with these clips. It does push it out from the wall just a little bit so it doesn't, your wall doesn't get scratched up or anything like that. So you can see in only a matter of minutes you can frame out your drawing with nice matting, acrylic, and frame. And like I said, if you order from American Frame, all you have to do is enter your drawing or, or print size, and they will send you all the supplies you need to make your artwork look great on the wall. So if you have any questions, you can email me at tim at uh, Over the next couple of weeks, like I said, I'm gonna frame out some other things. I'm gonna frame out thin canvas and thick canvas in different types of frames, so you can see how easy it is to just order your own frames online. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.